Hello friends and welcome to the next edition of The Carburetor, the show in which we help you with secret tips and tricks about your favorite cars. I'm Nico and today I want to pay attention to a topic that is quite advanced in the world of automotive electronics. To be honest, what you see today will be useful not only for auto enthusiasts, but also for many auto service specialists who want to learn more. So, the topic for today, reading and writing automotive computers, different than Bosch. I say different than Bosch because in most cases Bosch systems are easy to be read through the OBD port or the so-called diagnostic connector. Of course, there are also models that can be flashed by a different method such as BDM or boot mode, which means ECU on the table and with opening but we'll talk about that option in another video. Today, I'll show you how to read Ford Cougar with diesel engine that has a fuel system and a Delphi computer. The system is called Delphi DCM 3.5 and the right method of reading and writing software is called JTAG. Well, let's start. First, we put the car on a the lift, then we remove the front left tire and remove the plastic under the front left fender under which in black box is located the so-called ECU, abbreviation of electronic control unit or simply called engine computer. Then comes the complicated part. There is a lot of soldering that has to be done, of course, according to a schematic. The device we use for the manipulation is called KTAC. It is developed by the Italian company Alientec and it is one of the most famous auto flushers in the world. From here on, just press the read button and then when the device finishes the reading process, just save the file. Later, when your tuning specialist sends you back the modified file, let's say for a chip tuning or DPF deactivation, you just have to return this modified software back to the computer and you're done. In another video, I'll show you in more details how to perform reading and writing process correctly and how to avoid potential mistakes during this easy, but sometimes mysterious process. So friends, you already have the basics of the topic reading and injection computer software and not from a standard, but from a very sophisticated generation. As I said at the beginning of this video, there are many fuel systems and many more ways to read them. And today I just show you one of them. If you have any questions about chip tuning or deactivating a DPF, or EGR, a swirl flap, throttle valve actuator, or certain DTC errors that you want to remove from your software forever, do not hesitate to contact us. So that's it my friends, I hope you enjoyed and found this video useful. If so, please press that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode.